It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's weekly Torah lesson. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah lesson. This week's Torah portion is Parsha Smini, as well as Parsha's Para, as well as Shabbos Mavarchim. And the question of the week is, to what extent should you love someone else? So, since this week is Parsha Shmini and also Parsha Para, where we learn about the laws of the Red Heifer in order to prepare to become pure for the month of Nisan, where everyone had to be pure in order to bring the sacrifice in the temple. So, we're going to share a thought about Parsha Para. So, when Moshe Rabbeinu was learning in the Torah Parsha Emor, where it speaks about the laws of the priests, where the priests have to remain pure, and if they become, God forbid, defiled with a dead body, what the, the way they become defiled and they cannot serve in the temple until they become pure. So Moshe Rabbeinu was bewildered, how can a priest that became defiled with a dead person become pure? And he asked God that question, so the Medrash says. And God doesn't answer Moshe Rabbeinu. It bothered Moshe Rabbeinu so, so the Medrash says that his face became very, very, very red. But no answer from God. Later on, several Torah portions later in Parshas Chukas, the special Torah portion that we read this week in honor of Parshas Parah, and God says, Zois Chukas Torah. This is a chukah, a whole new level of a commandment which is beyond rationale, where God institutes and teaches us the laws of purity of a dead person. When God teaches the laws of purity of a dead person, so then God turns to Moshe and says, remember then when I didn't answer you? This is the answer. So the Rebbe says a powerful insight. Moshe Rabbeinu was a holy human being, had no connection with impurity. He was a pure soul. And he did not serve in the temple as the priest. So the whole idea of purity and impurity had nothing to do with him. But nevertheless, when a priest became, would become impure by becoming in contact with a dead person, it bothered Ramesh Rabbeinu so much, up to the point that he re- reached out to God, God didn't respond, and he was so bothered that his face became red. Because he was so concerned, that's why God gave the huge gift of the, chuk- the chukim, the statutes, which allowed the purity process to take place from a great level of impurity. And the Rebbe says, here you see the power, how you have to be concerned about another human being, even if you have, it does not relate to you. But if something affects someone else, it should bother you, like Moshe Rabbeinu was bothered about the priest's purity. And because of that, we got the tremendous gift of the laws of Parshas Parah Aduma, which purifies someone that comes in contact with a dead person. So the answer to the question, how much do you have to love somebody? Learn from Moshe Rabbeinu. Something that someone's going through, even if you have no connection to it, your love should be so much that it should bother you, up to the point, like Moshe, where your face gets so red and you're concerned about them, and this way, you'll be able to receive huge blessings like Moshe Reino got for the Jewish people, that we have all the laws of purity, thanks to Moshe Reino's concern and love for another human being. This week's Torah class is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib, Shlomo ben Yosef, and Rachel Baslipa. May their souls be elevated by the Torah that we're studying in their memory. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. For more information, please see our website.